Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Nurani binti Ilyas and I am a master student of Quranic and Sunnah studies at Yusin. Today, I would like to present my paper on the title Methodology of Tadabbur and analyze it on comparison of Tadabbur Al-Quran and Mafatih Tadabbur Al-Quran. Before I would like to present my contents of the studies, um, I would like to introduce about Tadabur. Tadabur Al-Quran is emphasized by Allah because it is essential in producing the true Muslim personality as guided by Muslim. Although the knowledge of Tadabur has been put by the time of Rasulullah Wasallam, it is less implemented by Muslim nowadays due to the less reason by any authorities. This, this research is aimed to compare the concept, similarities, and differences of methodology at the book applied between two famous of Quranic studies a book which entitled Tadabur Al Quran by Salman Umar As Sunaini, published on 2002, and Mafati Tadabur Al Quran wa An Najah Al Haya, published on 2007, written by Khalid Abdul Karim Al Lam. This study is conducted through qualitative research that use document analysis and library research as methods to obtain data. Besides, the finding of this research show the different methods used by these two scholars in writing, especially the concept and methodology of the book. However, these two books also contain similarities on a few methodologies of the book. Furthermore, the emergence of these two books is one of the great contributions for the Muslim community to understand the true concept of the book, especially for students and society, because of its relatively easy to understand description. This research is need to be studied to explore the, the actual methodology of the Dabur Al Quran as introduced by scholars to revive the internalization of Al Quran among Muslims and to improve the integrity level of Muslim individuals all over the world. As introduction, the Quran, as introduction, the Quran needs to be understood in two stages as um, as confirmed by Isra Ahmad uh, 1993. Uh, the first stage is the Dabur, which means memory, warning, and advice. And the second stage is the Dabur, which is to teach maker, making it an important lesson and exploring the treasures of knowledge and secrets. Besides, Tadabur is one of the manners in reading the Quran according to Imam An Nawawi 2015. There are five duties to Quran which are listening, reading, memorizing, seeking the meaning or tadabur, and practicing the command and prohibition as stated by Abdul Muhsin 2017. However, the practice of reading the Quran with tadabur is very lacking and not concerned into the society as stated by Nurul Zakir Hamad in 2014 because in the eye of Muslim nowadays, the important in reading Quran is just for khatam or finishing the Quran in an instant without any understanding and internalization in life as stated by Yahya Abdullah 2003 and Isha Abdul Manaf 2017. If the Quran is less tadabur, the form of internalization will not happen and cause the misunderstanding towards the meaning of Quran verses as confirmed by Nur Ain Zainal Abidin and others on 2017. A way of life that full of anger, narrow mindedness, revenge, heart hurts were born because lack of consciousness and the result of the impulse of the devil and consequently the strength of faith slowly disappeared. This was confirmed by Abu Marwan 2014. While the laws of fat in the soul make tawakkal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala disappears too, as stated by Samsul Arifin on 2014. In this regard, the best solution for all the problems mentioned above is to tadabur 
eternal life and make Quran and Sunnah as a guide to follow because Quran has the privilege of its own manhaj by bringing a rabbi, humor, realistic, kata'i approach, and growth and gradually, as stated by Muhammad Yusuf Khalid 2005. The method of Tadabur al Quran can be learned and produce integrated and balanced people to realize human functioning as a servant and the caliph of Allah on earth, as confirmed by Rahana Zakaria and others on 2014. Until now, the concept of Quran has not been widely understood and written much. Meanwhile, the sources are circulating in Quranic verses, hadith, and the history of Muslim, as stated by Abbas Ashafu 2005. Hence, study on the comparison of the double Quranic verses in order to revive the internalization of Quran to be success in life need to be carried out. To analyze the true methodology of Tadabur, the Holy Quran, and its importance in producing the true Muslim personality, as well as to resolve the morality issues that go in harder among teenagers. Now, I would like to um, present the objective of this study. This objective of this study contains three points. Uh, first, uh, to determine the concept of Tadabur al Quran among the books of Tadabur al Quran and Mafatin Tadabur al Quran. Second, to investigate the similarities of methodology Tadabur al Quran between the books of Tadabur al Quran and Mafatin Tadabur al Quran. And lastly, to analyze the differences of methodology Tadabur al Quran between these two books. Concept of Tadabur. Concept can be interpreted as a description or abstraction of a number of phenomena, either of objects, process, or whatever created by someone at a particular time, with intention of making arrangement, giving meaning to experience that, having the same features to understand other things. This is was explained by Abbas Ashafa, 2000. In a briefly, concept can be identified as a deep down meaning and understand an understanding of something or some terms. Moreover, the concept of the double can be understood thoroughly by use of many scholars on the meaning of the double. In the book of the double al Quran by Salman Umar al Sunani, uh, the concept of the double had been explained in introduction, in introduction before the other topic was discussed. The author also described uh, the synonym words as the double, which consists of ten words in overall. While the uh, while the concept of the double that has been explained by Khalid Abdul Karim Al Lahim was the, uh, has been described. Uh, by the topic of introduction to the proposition of the Dabur al Quran. This topic has been divided into three sections, which consists of the meaning of the Dabur and the Dabur al Quran. As the first section, the misunderstanding of the Dabur al Quran as the second section, and the signs of the Dabur al Quran as the third section. Okay, as a conclusion, uh, the Tadabur concept of Saman Umar as Sunaidi explained the meaning of Tadabur is considered uh, considered as the consequence and contemplation, as stated by uh, Lisan al Arabi. And the meaning of Tadabur al Quran is so uh, understanding the meanings of its words, think about its signs, indicate what is included within it, which not. Uh, we should not stop the words mentioned from the signs and alerts the benefits of the heart subject to his orders and take a lesson from it. While the double concept that has been described by Khalid al Lahim is in the view of Maidani, the double means comprehensive thinking and leading to the semantics of the words and distant goals. Uh, it is the ability to understand the will of words as far as possible meaning that can be achieved in the end through the gesture of the verse, uh, 
as stated by Abdul Rahman Habanaka 2014 in the book of Khalid Abdul Karim Al Rahim. And lastly, Khalid also Khalid Al Rahim also explained the meaning of the Tabur Al Quran is reflecting and thinking on the verse of Quran in order to understand and realize the meaning. Now I would like to explain the second point of my study, which is methodology of the Quran. According to Khalid and Hanger, 2004, methodology refers to was uh, refers to ways of obtaining, organizing, and analyzing data. The basic approach on the method of the Quran is based on one's ability level in interacting with the verse of Quran, organizing authentic interpretations and propagandas of the Ulum Quran. In addition, the Quran uh, skills can be developed based on the persistence of readers' efforts or the research approach observed and explores the meaning of the verse of Quran over and over again as confirmed by Nurul Zakir Ahmad Singh, 2014. This research is a uh, few similarities on methodology of the double between these two scholars. Okay. The similarities of the double methodology between these two scholars is first, Abdavani or uh, each time or it means enhance or adjoin the voice with melodies, reason, audible or chant the verse of Quran during reading. Secondly, al bit tilawah or reciting the Quran clearly or loudly. Thirdly, at or slow recitation or modulating mod modulation of the Quran along, along with Tajweed. And lastly, al kiraah bil lay or reading the Quran at night or while performing night prayer. There are many differences on methodology of Tadabur between both scholars. Salman Umar Asmaidi named his methodology of Tadabur as Subul Tadabur al Quran al Karim or Ways to Tadabur al Quran, and he had outlined it into six sections while Khali Abdul Karim al Lahim named his methodology as al Miftah al Tadabur al Quran or Keys to Tadabur al Quran, and he has outlined it into Ten section. Both authors also have differences in methodology of writing and elaborating their books, which Salman as Sunaidi only focusing the topic of the Dabur without meetings with other topics, while Khalid and Lahim had focused on the success of life, methodology of the Dabur, and the relationship between both of these. In a briefly, the differences on methodology of the Dabur between both scholars. Are first the double methodology of Salman Umar as um, First and foremost, experience the meanings of the verse or related the meaning of verses with real life. Two, imagine the situation when the verse were going down by searching the history. Three, understand meanings and clues. Four, understand and confidence with the verbal and meaning of verses. Five, Know the methods of Quran such as warning, orders, or prohibitions, and lastly, learn and teach the Quran. Now, while the methodology of the Dabur that described by Khalid al Lahim is first, love the Quran, second, invoke the goals of reading the Quran, third, memorizing the Quran, fourth, uh, repetition and standing up the verse, five, Aim to read the Quran by his zip or divide the Quran into parts to be read either at noon or night. And lastly, connectivity between memorizing and thinking to produce the true method of the Quran. As a conclusion, the Dabur has been ex explained by many Islamic scholars, especially among Arabic scholars, but less described by others, which means think differently. Most of the scholars have the same opinion on the meaning of the Dabur al Quran, which is comprehensive and constantly changing the meaning of the Quranic verses to form the internalization and understanding so it can be applied in everyday life. In short, the concept of the Dabur explained in the book of the Dabur al Quran 
and mafatih sa dapur alquran wa wa anna dapur haya almost the same in aspect of general meaning but have differences from other aspects which is methodology although both scholars have been differences on methodology of the dapur there are still is it the similarity between them even most of the scriptures are in Arabic language and not all of the people understand it, the efforts to learn this knowledge need to be intensified. It also can serve as an approach to guide future generations as it is a vehicle of integration between spiritual and religious. Therefore, the precious scholars or authorities that have the knowledge on Tandapur need to teach it and express it to the society in an easy way to achieve the goal of inheriting the akhlaq of Prophet Muhammad into a true Muslim and Caliph of Allah. Thank you for lending me your ears, eyes, hearts, and minds. وأقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله العظيم ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Thank you.